Hey everyone, welcome back to our tutorial series on how to design a pair of headphones within Gravity Sketch. In the last video, we covered some advanced modeling techniques and how to get a cleaner, more finalized model that's ready to play with further in Gravity Sketch and potentially export to another software. Today, we're going to focus on more CMF stuff, exporting, and moving into other software. Let's go ahead and hide this process deck and show just our finalized model that we were left with at the end of the last session. I changed the color on this to that dark space gray we were looking at before and just moved it over here to more of the origin. Now that we have a nice clean model, let's make it look good in the room. I can obviously use my flashlight here or I can set an HDRI by going to my settings in my hamburger menu and then up here in the tabs, obviously I have my sketch aid, my preferences, and then my workspace tab. If I go to workspace, like you'll remember from the beginner tutorial, I can set it to a custom HDR environment and I'm a pretty big fan of this Sunset HDR, which is built into our asset library. Now that I've got the environment set, let's go into the model and change some of these CMF options. Obviously we had done this before, but now with a tighter model, it communicates much more effectively throughout my design intent. I can go in and edit the color of each of these individualized parts because I've broken them up, and I can continue that CMF exploration. I think it's important to note that the HDR definitely helps the product render a bit more effectively, but my flashlight still has the main source of light in the room as its directionality. As far as CMF goes, we can get to another level of detail. As you'll see here on the pad, I have this slight grain that I've added to it as a material texture. I'm going to set that back to a default texture and show you guys how to get that kind of result using built-in assets. And to get there, we're first going to drop in a texture from our asset library. So if we go to our hamburger menu on our non-drawing hand, down to import, and here we're gonna make sure we're on the cloud landing pad import tab. Go to our asset library, 2D assets, and here there's a folder called textures. When we click on that, we can go to the subfolder called material textures. And within that, we'll see a lot of PNGs that are built in for textures. You can upload your own PNGs to your landing pad account and drop those in this way, but any PNG can be mapped to an object. For now, we're just gonna to go to the asset library, grab this white image as if it's an object, and just drop it anywhere in the room. Once we drop an image into the room, we can anchor it or unanchor it by hitting that anchor button on our non-drawing hand while grabbing it. This affects the way that it sits in our environment, whether it's trapped to our headset or sitting in the actual space. Now we can grab an object with our selection sphere, go to that color wheel option, and we'll notice that this new material that's down here in our recents is actually just the material of that image wrapped around the surface. So anytime we drop an image into our gravity sketch scene, we can map that to an object. So you can definitely have a lot of fun with this. In this case, we're just going for a nice, simple, kind of darker gray uh, fabric material. And you can see using that color wheel, I can kind of remap the color while maintaining the image texture. So we're gonna set that to a darker gray and I'm gonna set it to, uh, let's go with a basic material setting because that's kind of the most matte material. Now I can do the same thing for this pad that wraps around the top of the head. So I'll just grab that object and then while I'm grabbing it in that color material menu, I'll pull my eyedropper out of that menu and click on the pad. That'll take the image, it'll take the color, all of that material setting will be carried over to my active object. And I don't have to worry about keeping that image in here, I can delete it out, it's not going to affect any of my textures. I know that earlier I set the headphones to this purple color, but I'm missing that dark gray, almost black color because I think it just picks up the HDRI a little bit better, and I'm a sucker for matte black appliances. You also notice in here I use that same PNG approach to get an R and an L just to indicate which side is which on the pads. That's kind of a dot mesh texture just dropped in an image for that. Same exact method, same exact format. When I'm done with my CMF and my environment, I like to go back to sketching aid and turn off vertical lock, especially when I have an object just kind of floating in space like this. That allows me to rotate it in space without actually moving the object. It's just rotating my scene around. And it lets me evaluate my design a bit more effectively than if I still had vertical lock on. I'm actually gonna set that to a darker black too. I think that just looks better the darker it goes. Uh, but I'm gonna go back to workspace here and look at it with my flashlight check those highlights, see the way that everything's tracking and make sure that my surfaces are clean and then I'm happy with where I've ended up. This can be a really nice, simple way to review and evaluate my design, but every once in a while I wanna add just a little bit of extra flair. In this case, I had found a really cool bust model that I wanted to bring in to give a bit of context to my pair of headphones. I can go back to my import menu, 
And on my desktop, in my browser, I can drop a model uh, that can be FBX, OBJ, STL into landing pad and navigate to the same location here and drop it in. In this case, I already dropped it in. So that's my David bust. Dropping this in is the exact same workflow we did with the head at the beginning, only it's not a native file. It's one that we drop in the landing pad. And now I'm gonna turn vertical lock back on. But I dropped this in here and I've got my pair of headphones. I just sat them on there. Huge shout out to Xerxes6696 on CG Trader who made this model available. I think it works really well for showcasing these headphones. And this is just one way to give a little bit more context to your device. We can also play around more with CMF options. So if we go back down here to the individual pair of headphones, I can continue that CMF workflow similarly to what I did in the last video. Here I'm gonna go with maybe like a, a nice rose pink. Uh, I can copy and paste that out as many times as I want for different CMF and different finish. But I think in terms of context, having it here on the bust is really powerful. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as that black. I really like that kind of metallic black against that more marble look for the rest of that model. Plus I've got that skull exposed portion as that same black color in here. So I think it works really well. But now we're able to have a conversation about the headphones, talk about maybe more of the art direction associated with the design. And now we can talk about exporting. So when I have this model here in scene, I can go to my hamburger menu, go to layers. I'm gonna turn off everything except for my single file that I want to export. When I export, everything that's visible is going to be exported. So I'm gonna keep it as just this pair of headphones as visible. And I'm going to go here into my menu, go to save and export. And I'm gonna click this button up here that says export. That tab down at the bottom says save to landing pad or save to device. Landing pad is cloud, so that's where I can access it on my browser. So I'm gonna export that way. And I'll get a little bit of a preview of what my export's going to look like. I get some measurements. If we look at our menu over here on our hand, we have quite a few different options, FBX, GRS, OBJ, and IGIS, as well as sub options. That's all gonna depend on what you're using it for external. But what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to click this recenter origin button down here on the bottom right. That's gonna recalculate my center of my mass and it's gonna move everything back to the origin to make it easier to access in another program. But because I wanna export for rendering, I'm gonna go FBX, double-sided normals, and a render sub D mode. And then I'm gonna click this blue check mark on my non-drawing hand. I can change my export location first, but I'm just gonna click that check mark, have it go to the default location, and I'll get this little notification pops up. It says my export file can be found at this location on the cloud. So at that point now I can go onto landing pad and I'll be able to find my file that's been exported that way and take it into any other program. All I have to do is click on it, click download, It'll tell me that my download has just started and I'll see it pop up in my menu there. Now I can import that into Keyshot or any other program I want to. In this case, I had a little bit more fun in Keyshot, came up with some nice renderings, and that's really a holistic workflow. Obviously, this is a very product design centered workflow. There's still a lot to learn in terms of other tools that we didn't necessarily use in this workflow, but this is the bread and butter for product design, a lot of automotive design, transportation design, and even a bit of footwear. So these tools translate very well to other industries. Gravity Sketch is being used all across the design industry, whether it's experience design, entertainment design, physical product design, all of the above. So if you're interested in the tool and you had as much fun as I did kind of following along with these sessions and with these videos, definitely encourage you guys to check what else is out there and add to it. Gravity Sketch has a huge community and now you're part of it. So check what other people are doing, see what you can do to add to that. And I know we here at Gravity Sketch are always really excited and inspired every time we see someone learn the tool and bring a new mindset to it. So thank you guys again for joining along. My name is Hunter Elmore. I'm an automotive design consultant with Gravity Sketch, and it's been an absolute blast taking you guys through everything. Until next time.